Gregory, we've got a special guest in the studio right now. Dylan Guthrow is here. Hi, Dylan. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Not too bad, thanks. Sure, yeah. We uh, we got tons of stuff to talk about with you this morning. Uh, first of all, uh, Granville Green show on Sunday night. Mm-hmm. Molly Thomason is sick. Molly Thomason can't be there. They make the call. They say, uh, uh, how do they get a hold of you and Carlton and Bree all the same yeah, time? Yeah, how'd that all come together, Dylan? Um, well, I was with... I was at Carlton's place, actually. We were hanging out the night before, mm-hmm. uh, jamming and, and writing and stuff. And then, um, yeah, I got the call because uh, me and Molly kind of have the same team of people, I guess. Mm-hmm. And uh, they knew I was in the area, so they, they gave me a show, asked me if I wanted to do it. So then I fig- figured uh, it'd be great to get Carlton to come along, and we called Bria as well. and. Everyone was up for it, so we went and uh, filled filled the hole for Molly, I guess. Cool. And uh, did a great job. Great job. Well, thank you. Great job. Yeah. Now, uh, Dylan Guthrow, of course, uh, I do uh, I do have to say uh, uh, something about your dad. Uh, it, the, the Guthrow name has been on the maritime scene for a long, long time. Yeah. yeah. But I said this on Monday morning, and I stand by and I'll say it uh, in front of your face as well. Uh, as much as uh, your father, Bruce... Bruce Guthrow, name drop, had to do it, <laughs> might be casting a shadow. You seem to be breaking out of the shadow, dude. When you got on stage on Sunday night, and this is the first time I've seen you perform. Okay. Amazing. Oh, thank you Amazing. Very much. Just, yeah. just, you know, guy to guy media, you got to tell you that. How, how, does that uh, how does that affect you, uh, Dylan, as you're, you know, trying to make a name for yourself? You know, you, you have the name recognition there, but at the same time, you, like Scott said, you don't want to be cast under the shadow at the same time, right? Yeah, I mean... At the end of the day, we're both on the same team. That's that's the main thing. Um, he's had so much success that a lot of people over here probably haven't even heard about or seen, but over over in Europe, and uh, that's pretty cool. Like I'm really proud of that um, for him. And I'm just kind of getting started out, uh, testing my feet, put my feet in the water, and all these uh, these areas, and just seeing where I fit in and. and you know, we help each other. We co-write, and I've played on his record, and he co-produced mine with Dave Gunning. And uh, we just, you know, it's pretty. I guess the Guthrow name, it, 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 I don't know, gives me footsteps to to follow into. But at the same time, where I'd have to somewhat live up to those, at it, uh, it might grab me some attention that otherwise I wouldn't get right yeah. off the bat. So sure. it works two ways, I think, and and you know, all for the good. How old a kid are you, Dylan? I'm 21. And how long have you, I mean, you've been around music your whole life, but how long have you, like, been involved in it, I guess, yourself? Um, when did you start? I started playing, start playing, like, start just kind of for fun when I was, like, four, I think. They got me a guitar, and then <laughs> I'd strum along and, and started learning chords slowly, and then um, I got, like, a, I got a bass when I was, like, 12 or something and some drums when I was 13, and I'd always, like, play around on a keyboard and stuff so I always loved it and I always kind of took an interest in it but then I'd say when I was 15 or 16 I actually started to try to get out and, and make a living at it or, you know or take the small steps at that time to to see if I could and, and now it's going pretty well so now are you a multi-instrumentalist can you play the keyboard can you play the, I, I know you play the, the the guitar you've got it in front of you right now mm-hmm. but the bass keyboard drums you can do this you can do it all um Guitar is my thing, I would say. Uh, bass yeah, okay. would be my secondary. Um, drums and keyboard, you wouldn't really want to... I wouldn't call myself a drummer or, or <laughs> keyboard player, but I do. I love doing it. It's really fun. So. You like to tinker. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, um, um, before I get you to play, one more question. Lee. You, you mentioned uh, that your dad... Um, does a, he, he's got a huge success in Europe, mm-hmm. and Run Rig be part of, part of that, right? Yeah. Now, did you get a chance? Have you have you gone abroad? Have you done stuff? Have you done like the world tours? And have you have you yourself been able to get out of Nova Scotia and go? Um, yes, twice we went. Uh, it was with with Bruce. We went mm-hmm. over uh, two years ago to a festival in Denmark. Uh, like Tonder, I guess is how we would pronounce it. It's okay. Pronounced Tuna over there. But the the first year I went, we just kind of flew in and played a set and flew out because he had a run rig, big run rig show coming up. Mm-hmm. But uh, last uh, last summer, I went over and we did the whole the whole festival like the whole weekend, and that was pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing how loyal the fans are over there, and they kind of just you know accepted me right away, and and uh, 
I don't know, it's an overwhelming, incredible experience. I think there's there's plans underway for me to go back over in, in the fall for a little tour, so I'm really? pretty excited about that, yeah. Cool. Well, can we get you to play? You're yeah, a musician, I'm sure, going to get you to yeah. play. Let's do it. Can we do Thinking? Can I request a yeah, song? Sure, let's do it, yeah. Cool. There's no amount of money in the world that would take you from my hands. If I had you, I would tell you so, but I've never had that chance. I'm tongue-tied when I look at you. You always say you've got stuff to do, so you make me wonder. But if you're thinking what I'm thinking, then you're thinking that I think this might be great. Seems so wrong, but feels so right to have you right here by my side. Please just stay here. Cause we could do nothing, or we could do it all. Let's test these waters before you fall. to learn a lot lately yeah. absorbing all I can but it's gonna take me lots of time to show you who I am and they say slow and steady wins the race but you and I will pick our pace and show the world that there's no rule so if you're thinking what I'm thinking, then you're thinking that I think this might be great. Seems so wrong, but feels so right to have you right here by my side. So please just stay, cause we could do nothing, or we could do it all, yeah. Let's test these waters before you fall. Fantastic here. stuff. Dylan Guthrow. Now, Dylan, is it weird to have other people sing your songs back to you? We've been playing that song for a while here on The Hawk. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that as you're singing, I look over, I see Greg singing the words. <laughs> I love that song. It, is, it, is it weird to have somebody else sing your song? Like ah. now, like when you're doing when you're doing a show, and we're going to talk about you. He's doing a show tonight, mm -hmm. uh, an event by Shannon. We'll talk about that in a second. But is it weird when you go and do shows like at the Granville Green the other night, and somebody is you you can look at and see somebody singing along? It's got to hit home for you, right? That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first time uh, I ever saw anybody do that. It was like a couple years ago, and I had I had uh, you know my songs ready to go for mm -hmm. you know the record and. Uh, no one really knew them except like my close friends and family, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I, we were having a little uh, Christmas get together. Maybe it was even like a Thanksgiving thing with the family. And I was down. We had some stuff set up, and I was singing all my songs. And there was like a row of all my little cousins, and like just you know bobbing their heads mm -hmm. and, and singing along. And I got a kick out of that. But yeah, I guess it's kind of neat when you look out and you see someone knows the words that you wrote. It's kind of I'm pretty cool, I guess, yeah. Now, when you say words you wrote, I'm looking at the CD right now. It's called All That's True, mm -hmm. Dylan Guthrie's CD. And on each and every song here, you've got a songwriter credit. Oh, yeah. On yeah. every song. This is not, not just a dude that can sing and mm -hmm. they can play guitar, but you're writing all these songs. Yeah, I mean, so I'm just getting into co-writing now, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I did a bit, like, with my family and my sister and, and father, yeah, but... Uh, um, 
I'm starting to get out and do like with a whole bunch of different people uh, these days, and of course I'm still going to write songs by myself.